Okay, so now we've already completed the square, but now we have to deal with there'll be a negative under the square root. Here. Okay, so let's go ahead and remember how to complete the square because I am testing Thursday or Friday, depending on which class you're in. Okay, the first step is I would like to get this 15 out of the way because right now it's not factorable. It's not a perfect square. So I need to go ahead and complete the square. Can I'm going to switch to the letter X, guys. I can't use K. Sorry. X squared minus 4X plus 15. I haven't changed anything, but I just changed the letter. I really don't think they should use other letters, but that's me personally. Okay, I'm going to move that 15. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 15 from both sides. Okay, let's simplify. X squared plus, oh, it's minus 4X equals negative 15. Now I need to complete the square, okay? So the way you do it, you take half of this middle number. So negative four over two is negative two and you square it, I get a four. But I just added four here, so I better add four here. So usually when I say complete the square, I put a square on both sides. So I know that I'm keeping things in balance. Okay, I can now write this. If you wanna factor it, you can, but I will tell you, once you do half of that middle number, that's what's gonna end up in your parentheses. You can write this as x minus two times x minus two equals negative 15 plus four is negative 11. See where I'm gonna get the negative? Cause I'm gonna take a square root. So I write this as x minus two squared equals negative 11. And remember the squeb footzer? F solving quadratic equations by finding the square root. Squeb footzer. You square root both sides. Remember you're adults now, so you know it's plus or minus. Okay. Here, the square root of something squared, they basically, the square root wipes out that square and you just get X minus two. Okay, over here, anything I can do? Or better yet, let me just go ahead and add the two to both sides. X is equal to two plus or minus square root negative 11. Well, I can't, I can still simplify that. I'm gonna go ahead and prime factor square root of negative 11. Okay, it's negative one times 11. Well, 11 is also prime. So the only thing I can do though, is rewrite this as negative one times 11. Remember that we learned about I, that the I is equivalent to the square root of negative one. So I can cancel out this I, or basically say, come on out and make I. So this is gonna be two plus or minus I root 11. Now do remember that on you know multiple guest test, they could write it either way. They could write two plus I, root 11 or 2 minus i root 11. Could be either one. 